Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Pastor Mike here for Midday Prayer. Um, it's a beautiful day today. I'm making sure everything's up and running. It looks like it is. Um, glad you could join us on this um, uh, stay after transfiguration. So we're in kind of in this liminal space between the the hallelujah of transfiguration and the somberness of Bash Wednesday, uh, which will happen on Wednesday, and then we'll be in the season of Lent. Um, but uh, glad you're with us today. We will um, get started in just a second. Uh, if you um, uh, well, let me know you're here, you can uh, put something in the chat there. That'd be great. Um, also, if you have anyone that you would like to add to our prayers, um, please put their names in the comments and we'll be glad to uh, include those as well. Uh, peace to you, uh, Sharon, as uh, you join us here online for our uh, midday prayer time. Um, it's good to see that others are joining as well. Um, let's see, Mike is with us. Uh, and uh, there are others as well, I think, online. So we're going to get started as we center ourselves for our prayer time together. So we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. Um, welcome, uh, Lynn, as well, for Midday Prayer. Uh, so today's text is uh, a portion from uh, the book of Acts. It's actually a portion of Stephen's um, uh, testimony, let's call it. Uh, it's a very long um, section there. In sec uh, chapter 7, he does a very long um, uh, kind of a dissertation, it seems like. It's not really a sermon. It's kind of a, a history lesson almost, um, where he's talking to the council there, the high priest uh, Stephen is. And so he kind of recounts kind of the history of God's actions in the world. And there's a section here that um, I think kind of ties into uh, both Transfiguration and Lent. Um, uh, so we'll read this section. It's uh, Acts 7. We'll start at the 30th verse and read through the 34th verse. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about that. So um, Stephen speaks. Now, when 40 years had passed, an angel appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai in the flame of a burning bush. When Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight. And as he approached to look there came the voice of the Lord. I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses began to tremble and did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have surely seen the mistreatment of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their groaning. And I have come down to rescue them. Come now. I will send you to Egypt. Now, this is, um, like I said, so Stephen's uh, recollection of or recounting of um, Moses' experience with God at the burning bush. Um, and then for all of us to remember, that's when um, God calls Moses to um, go to, back to Egypt. And Moses had fleed Egypt because he had killed an Egyptian. So he'd been living uh, for forty in forty for forty years. He'd been living away for living away from um, Egypt, and um, he's out one day, and the angel of the Lord appears in the burning bush, calls um, Moses, goes close. Then the voice of God calls Moses to go and free God's people, and and it's all around this whole faithfulness of God uh, theme that this story takes place. Um, you know, God says that, you know, I am the God, the same God that you've known about that from Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Uh, that's I'm that God. Uh, and I've heard my people. And now I'm going to do something about it. Right. Um, and now we know from the book of Exodus that God actually does some things about it. Right. And, and ends up freeing God's people. What struck me today uh, is the way that Stephen uh, is retelling this story of faith. Uh, and, and I wondered how we are called uh, in this time to continue to tell our stories of faith, the way that God has acted in our lives, the way that God has acted in the lives of all of God's people, right? Um, I think sometimes we 
uh, we assume maybe that everyone around us knows that story or, or even knows our own faith story. But um, I think there's some power in our sharing uh, the activity of God in the world, pointing that out to folks, uh, both in the past, um, because I think, uh, as well as in the present, because I think that um, if what, what I've always experienced is that God's faithfulness in the past uh, shows up in the present uh, as well. And so um, I think that's a place for us to kind of in this in-between time between Transfiguration and Ash Wednesday to kind of spend some time to step back and give thanks to God for God's past activity, for God's activity with, with God's people uh, every single day. Um, and for us to be given the opportunity or as we're given the opportunity for us to be able to tell the story of God's work in the world. It's a story that um, we we should never tire of telling and it's a story that always brings hope uh, to those who hear it and so our friends from camp hill are going to also uh, tell us that story and so we're going to um they're going to tell a story um that's very uh, fundamental to our um of uh, our faith life our experience with god um uh, that comes at the end of lent uh, and that's throughout the resurrection. So our friends from Camp Hill are going to sing about that, um, uh, listen to them as they retell that story of God's work through Jesus. And we'll get back together to pray. If there's folks that you would like to add to our prayers, please put their names in the comments, and I'll be glad to include them in our prayer time. So here are our friends from Camp Hill. It's, um, um, the name of the song is Alive Forever. It's a relatively new one uh, that they just posted, so it will be a new one for us. Let the children sing a song of liberation. God of our salvation set us free. Death, where is thy sting? The curse of sin is broken. The empty tomb stands open. Come and see. He's alive, 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 hallelujah. Alive, praise and glory to the Lamb. Alive, alive. Alive, hallelujah, alive forever, amen. Let my heart sing out for Christ the one and only, so powerful and holy rescued me. Death won't hurt me now, because he has redeemed me. The grace will ever keep me from my King. I'm alive, alive. Alive, hallelujah, alive, praise and glory to the Lamb. Alive, 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 hallelujah, alive, forever, amen. Oh, I'm alive, 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 hallelujah, alive, praise and glory to the Lamb. Alive, alive. Alive, hallelujah, alive, forever, amen. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy of our praise. Worthy is the one who has overcome the grave. Let the people dance, let the people sing. Worthy is the mighty King. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy of our praise. Worthy is the one who has overcome the grave. Let the people dance, let the people sing. Worthy is the mighty King. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy of our praise. Worthy is the one who has overcome the grave. Let the people dance, let the people sing. Worthy is the mighty King. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy of our praise. Worthy is the one who has overcome the grave. Let the people dance, let the people sing. Worthy is the mighty King. Alive, 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 hallelujah. Alive, praise and glory to the Lamb. Alive, alive. Alive, hallelujah, alive, forever, amen. Oh, he's alive, 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 hallelujah, alive, praise and glory to the Lamb. Alive, 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 hallelujah, alive, forever, amen. He's alive, forever, amen. Oh, he's alive, 
life forever. Amen. He's alive forever. Amen. Uh, that's a prayer in, in itself. It's also a proclamation of hope and the gospel, right? He's alive forever. Amen. Now let's join together um, uh, and pray together. Uh, so as God's people called in this time and place, uh, hear our prayer, God. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for your hearing our prayers. Uh, you heard the prayers of your people um, when they were in, enslaved in uh, Egypt, and then you responded, and through your mighty deeds, you freed them from all that held them captive. Um, and you did so because years and years and years prior to that, you made a promise to be their God and that they would be your people. You claimed them, um, and, um, and you honor, you are faithful to your promises, and for that we can always be grateful. Um, in Jesus Christ, you claim each and every one of us uh, uh, that are on this in this prayer time right now. Um, and in doing so, you have told us that we would live forever in your grace and forever in your um, in your eternal love. It is a hope that um, on days when things are challenging, um, we lean into very heavily. I am sure uh, because it is a hope that gives us breath and life. And you also, God, walk with us when we are ill or when we are grieving or when we are um, um, suffering in any kind of a way. And today, God, we ask that you surround all of those folks that we're going to name uh, with your healing presence. So be with Marie Devenny, Tommy Piles, um, Chrissy Renfro, Charles, Kathy Reckworth, Susan Harris, Brindy, Brenda, uh, Judy and Earl Kelly, Charlotte Wallach, Maggie, Lynn, Bob Crawford, Ed Ziegler, Ron, Elwood Wallach, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Glenn Hardesty, Jane Cox, Lauren Mueller, Sabrina, Ryan and Dave, Lynn Smith, Linda Heitzelman, Peggy Helwig, Ebony, Ruby Gostel, Megan Yunkin, Katie Lawrence, Tracy Strimple, Paul and Dawn, Kelly, Brian Shaw, Gail, Carlos Omanis, and particularly today, God, the family and friends of Daryl Butler on the anniversary of his death. We also pray, God, for those that we name at this point aloud or silent in our hearts. Hear our prayer, O oh God. Hear our prayer, O oh God. And again, hear our prayer, O oh God. And now, God, as your people, we join together and pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray when they said, Lord, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now as God's people, we breathe in the breath of God, and we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. And we breathe in the love of God, and we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now remember, uh, we will not be having midday prayer on a Wednesday because it's Ash Wednesday. We will be having worship at noon um, on site here at the Worship Center for Ash Wednesday. Um, so if you're able to be here for the on-site worship uh, at noon uh, on Ash Wednesday, uh, I'll see you there. Uh, we'll also be, ha be having worship on Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. Um, that one will be, uh, that service will be both online and live stream. Um, so uh, you can join in either way that you can at 7 o'clock p.m. 
Uh, remember too that tomorrow at 5:30 is our pancake supper, uh, and then at six the carnival for the kids uh, happens. So it's a lot going on in the next couple of days. Um, and then I will be back with you for midday prayer on Friday uh, at noon. And so until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You have a great, great rest of your day.